columnist from the Information Resistance Group of Ukraine, Alexander Kovalenko, reported on an unsuccessful counter-attack by the Russian Armed Forces invaders in Vovchansk, Kharkiv region, Obos Revitel media outlet reports. It is worth noting that the Russians recently lost control of the Vovchansk aggregate plant, which, according to Kovalenko, deprived them of the opportunity to expand their zone of control in this direction. They tried to launch desperate assaults, but things ended very unsuccessfully for them. The Russians are trying their best to recapture this plant and other lost territories, losing a large number of equipment and manpower. They collected the MTLBs and BMPs they had and sent them on a suicidal mission to recapture positions from the Ukrainian armed forces. As a result, last Monday, a large number of Russian hardware and human resources were destroyed. In fact, the enemy lost an entire company during this attempt at a counter-attack. The expert emphasized. He added that Ukrainian defenders will soon continue to liberate the captured territories near Vovchansk and other areas in the north of the Kharkiv region. Kovalenko expressed the opinion that the Ukrainian armed forces may soon advance in the area of the village of Hatice and gain a foothold there. The expert also emphasized the fact that in the near future, the Ukrainian defense forces are unlikely to have the opportunity to completely displace the Russian occupiers from the north of the Kharkiv region. However, advances by Ukrainian troops in Vovchansk are possible as early as this month. Forbes publication says that a week after Ukrainian commandos cleared the last few Russian troops hunkering in the besieged PJSZ Volchansky chemical aggregate plant in Vovchansk in northern Ukraine's Kharkiv Oblast, the Russians sought revenge. It ended in disaster for the Russians. Assaulting Ukrainian positions northwest of the 30-building chemical campus, the equivalent of half a Russian battalion, 17 MT LB armored tractors, three tanks and no fewer than 100 infantry crashed into a wall of Ukrainian firepower. The Ukrainian Army's 57th Motorized Brigade blasted the Russian assault group with hovering drones, dropping grenades, among other weapons, most likely. When the smoke cleared, 16 MTLBs and a tank lay wrecked. There were literal piles of dead and mangled Russians around the smoldering hulks. Now the guys are finishing off the remaining infantry, one Ukrainian blogger reported. Cadaver dogs and search crews trudged through knee-deep muck and debris in the mountains of western North Carolina on Tuesday looking for more victims of Hurricane Helene days after the storm carved a deadly and destructive path through the southeast. In Swananoa, a small community outside Asheville, receding floodwaters revealed cars stacked on top of others and trailer homes that had floated away during the storm. Roads were caked with mud and debris and pockmarked by sinkholes.
a powerful typhoon lashed the northernmost islands of the Philippines Monday, prompting warnings and mass evacuations. Typhoon Krathen was last tracked over the coastal waters of Balintang Island off the provinces of Cagayan and Batans with sustained winds of up to 175 km per hour and gusts of up to 215 km per hour, according to government forecasters. The slow-moving Krathen was blowing westward and could strengthen into a super typhoon when it veers northeastward Tuesday toward Taiwan, they said. There were no immediate reports of casualties or damaged residents, locally renowned for their resilience against seasonal storms, strengthened their roofs with ropes, covered windows with wooden boards and secured their fishing boats away from the sea two days before the typhoon hit, he said. Hundreds of villagers were evacuated away from the coast and flood-prone communities in Cagayan province, where power outages were reported. Classes in all levels were suspended Monday in several northern provinces as a precaution, officials said. Sea voyages were also halted in northern towns and provinces being battered or threatened by the typhoon, locally called Julian, officials said. About 20 storms and typhoons batter the Philippines each year. The archipelago also lies in the Pacific Ring of Fire, a region along most of the Pacific Ocean Rim where many volcanic eruptions and earthquakes occur, making the Southeast Asian nation one of the world's most disaster-prone. In 2013, Typhoon Haiyan, one of the strongest recorded tropical cyclones in the world, left more than 7,300 people dead or missing, flattened entire villages, swept ships inland and displaced more than 5 million in the central Philippines.